creating an animation in Photoshop. So open up Photoshop. First, you'll need to build two layers. One for the background image and one for the reveal image. Now, what I originally did was bought in a background and then picture of popcorn seeds. I used the pen tool to draw around them and create a path and use a mask. I've done a video of this before with a full breakdown called Cut Anything Out of an Image in 30 Seconds with a link to this in the card above or the description below. But the reason I'm telling you this is I did it this way and it didn't work. So what you'll need to do, you'll have the first layer, which will have the background and the, for example, my popcorn seeds as one layer. And on top of that, on your second layer, you'll need the image, which it'll reveal to. So I need to right click and merge the layers so it becomes one whole layer. Bro, once you have those two layers, click on the top layer for mine is flowers and then click on add layer mask at the bottom of the layer panels you'll get a white box appearing next to the image on the layer use control and i or command and i on mac to invert the mask with the mask selected choose the brush tool hitting b on the keyboard and set the color to white as white will reveal the flowers underneath then brush in whichever seed you want. I'm going with the middle one here. Then duplicate this layer by hitting Control and J or Command and J and repeating the brush reveal for the next flower. Repeating these steps until all the flowers have been revealed. This way will also determine which direction you want the flowers to reveal. So mine is slightly in a spiral. Now we're ready to animate. On the timeline, use the drop down menu and click on create frame animations. From the timeline menu, choose make frames from layers. Go back to your layer panel and on the bottom layer, click on the visibility off and then on to make sure it's visible for all the frames on the timeline. Back in the timeline drop down menu, select all frames then copy frames and then paste frames. It, it'll then bring up a pop-up window. Click on paste after selection and hit OK. Finally, choose reverse frames so the sequence will reverse. Click the play button in the timeline to preview your animation. And you're done. To export this, you'll need to go to file, export, render video. Click on the file location and hit OK. And you're done. Give this a go guys and please send me your examples on Twitter or Instagram as I'd love to see them. It's a short one this week, hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, it's free so why not? And stay inspired.